when you came up with the whole FBA thing, which I understand the concept. Yeah. I understand the concept of it, but I feel like you, you're directing it towards a line of division between black Americans and or FBA and Africans. Okay. And what, what I'm trying to say is, I feel like everybody has their differences. Everybody has their stereotypes. There are certain things you say that are true. Like you say, maybe Africans think they're better than black Americans. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I can say that black Americans are better than Africans. And I just feel like- How so? We have- How so? Well, you know, you've, you've made certain comments, uh, especially one that just got me laughing that kind of pissed me off at the same time was those four police officers in Memphis that beat up the dude, Tyree Nicholson mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And how you said that they, they, were, they were giving you um, non-FBA vibes and all that. You know, I thought you were trolling, but at the same time, I was like, dude, is just kind of reaching. And, you know, it's funny, but it's funny, but it's not really funny, you know? Mm -hmm. And oh. I just feel like you have um, a, a strong platform where you could do better by bridging gaps um, as opposed to dividing. And so that's like my... What, what gap are they trying to build with us collectively in your homeland? What's, what are they trying to do to, build, to bridge that gap? What on their end? What are they doing? Okay, that's a good question. Um, I would say, for instance, a good example would be Ghana. I think you've been to Ghana too, right? I've not been to Ghana. But... Ghana. Okay, well, as you know, a lot of Black Americans, especially lately, they've been going to Ghana to visit and so many things, tourism and everything. Now, the thing about Ghana is that they are actually giving out free Ghanaian citizenship to Black Americans specifically. They're giving a, it's called a, <clears throat> they're giving a right to abode they're not really giving true citizenship. And then on top of that, there's a bunch of red tape. Then on top of that, in order for us to come over there, they want us to bring over a bag. They will well, let people- but, but, Yeah, what, what you, when you say a bag, okay, you could say a bag, but a dollar compared to Ghanaian cities is really nothing. Like a guy making $4,000 a month in America is rich as hell. That's inconsequential to what I'm saying, sir. When so it's we, a point red tape. It means money. When they want us to go over there with money, if they want us to, if we go to Ghana and try to get citizenship, they want to see bank statements. We have to show them that we're going to go over there and invest, and we got to have a bag in order to go over there. And then they do this whole year of return thing where they want us to come over and drop money off. So that's not really a come up for us. That's them like, hey, come over here. It's a, it's a starting point. At least you can say that it's, it is a starting point. We got to start somewhere, right? Damn, it, it's a it's a, a one sided starting point. And also, there's black people, and there's been cases of black people going over there to Ghana. Foundation of Black Americans getting killed for their land and robbed, and then they start jacking the prices up specifically for Foundation of Black Americans. So it's a lot of real janky shit going on over there towards. All right, so so that part when you talk about raising up prices that is true but it's not only for black and for fba even me i'm nigerian when i go back home they know that i came from america because of the way i talk my 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 behavior so that if i if i'm not with my homeboy or my family member they'll try to raise the price up on me as well it's, it's just a natural hustling thing it, it really has nothing to do doing that to the white people and the asians though I've seen them give white people shit for free over there when white people come over there they bow down to them they start no, that's, bucking that's, that's, and they start that's, up to them. And when rappers go over there, Meek Mill had to, they was t took his phone and the baby was getting extorted at the airport. Uh, people got hard. I mean, let's keep it a buzz. No, no. That's the, when, you, when you say to the white people, trust me, especially when I'm, where I'm from in Nigeria, Nigeria is like one of the roughest countries, especially on the, on the west side of, Af on the west coast of Africa, right? Mm -hmm. Nigerians, they still, they still kidnap white people and hold them up for ransom. Like, that's what they do over there. You know what I'm saying? So we don't, we, we, with Africans, right? What we respect at the end of the day, above everything else, we respect money because we believe that money is like, what would really get you out of poverty, out of slavery, out of everything. Like nobody respects you if you don't have money because money talks, right? Anybody can talk, but if your money, if you have money, then you really can make things happen for yourself and for your people. So, 
um, we don't really respect the white man as the way you you say it is. That's not true, brother. Not that's on an individual. Level. The government. The government or y'all, some of, some of them, man, when, dude, there's a reason why people over there putting cake soap all on their faces. Dude, they love white people. And they want to identify <laughs> no. with whiteness. They got, nah, that, nah. got a big statue of white Jesus in Nigeria, <laughs> dude. Stop, white brother. Don't, don't, don't do that. That has nothing to do with white people. That's that's men. That's men that t think that light skin is is is, is beaut more beautiful than dark skin. So that's and pressure that men put on dark here and will die for a white woman. Like that brother down in Miami got stabbed up by that white woman. Dude, yeah. I'm come yeah, on, man. You know good and well. Y'all niggas will die for a white woman. Y'all can't wait to get a white woman when y'all come over here. Y'all come over here looking for some Joloff seasoning and a white woman. Those are the first two things y'all look for. Let's keep it up. <laughs> it's, it's, nah, it's not. It's, it's, listen, man. They, they, they. Like, like we say, not where we come, where, like where I come from. Not them, the Russians, which means like they the ones chasing us. We not really, you know. We like black women. Trust me, we love black. This man, listen. Black Africans love big booties. We love, we love big booties, right? And um, no cap, a lot of black American girls, fake or no fake, they really got big. But especially in Texas. Alabama, Atlanta, like, well, Atlanta's not becoming fake, but, you know, like, Texas, Louisiana, they really have natural, beautiful women. And we, a lot of Black Africa, a lot of Africans, we marry Black American women. Like, that's the thing. But, you know what I'm saying? but, for the most part, for the most part. But, but, but a lot of cats be marrying these sisters so they can pull scams on them. I done talked to a bunch <laughs> of sisters who didn't marry some Nigerian dude and her credit then got jacked up because this nigga went and bought a camel back in Ethiopia some damn where with her Come credit. On, <laughs> so we can go on, keep it a buck. Y'all be getting with these FBA sisters and finessing them and putting shit on their credit and, and um, getting money out of them and using their bank accounts for all types of stuff. So it, it, that happens a lot. Let's keep it a buck. I've talked it, to a lot it, of that, uh, that, that That happens, but for the most part, it doesn't happen as much as you're saying. Like, it's is okay if you say if you say black people come here to marry to get their green pay, their, to get their green yeah, cards yeah, yeah. That, also, that, that yes yeah, so you can get citizenship yeah yeah that that happens but i a lot of people actually do marry for real for real like i have an auntie from lafayette mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying my uncle married her and everything and till today she's my auntie my uncle has passed but they have a child together they were married like really really married that's just on my side you know what i'm saying and a lot of other people I know have married Black American women. It's mostly African men marrying Black American women, not really American men marrying African women. It's, right. That's very, very minimal. But it does happen. But, but, but you know, but, at the end of the day... Let me, let me land the plane here, but just understand this. It's not us who are divisive at all. It's not us that's causing no damn division. We as foundational Black Americans, we just say, you know what, enough is enough because we've had so many folks who come from the diaspora who we've helped We've bent over backwards helping people. And for people to come over here and have this holier than thou attitude towards us and this narrative where my parents told me to stay away from these akatas and all of that stuff, we say, you know what, enough is enough. We're not gonna have that. We're gonna check everybody's paperwork. If they come around us and try to get in discussions about certain entities that affect us as a group, we wanna know who's chiming in and why they're chiming in. So if somebody's talking against reparations, for example, we need to see their paperwork. And if we see that they're not even from here, that's something that we're going to have to dilly up on the on the the, the chalkboard and say, hey, look, y'all need to check this stuff or we're going to have to check it. So that's where we are with it. So the, the, the divisive started with a lot of these non-FBA people who wanted to come over and, and capitalize off of us and capitalize off of our struggle and have us fight for them and have them share the wins that we fight for. But when they get a win, we're not supposed to share the win. And that's another major problem. When a lot of people from, from Africa and the Caribbean, if they do something constructive, if they get a win, they go out of their way to make sure that we don't share that. It becomes, I'm Nigerian American who just got a PhD. I'm Jamaican American who just got a doctorate. It becomes that type of thing. But if a motherfucker wants to commit a crime, we all black. If you beat up some body and you're a police officer, we all black. Come on now, let's not be divisive. No, we're not going to be together 
in, 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 in degradating circumstances. We're going to have to have the same energy all across the board. You see what I'm saying? That makes yeah, sense? I, that, uh, it makes sense. I, I, I totally agree that uh, from both sides, we can agree. We, we have a lot more in common than apart. Right. And if we can just and, and build that. You're going to have to you guys are going to have to check your tether classes, the ones who come over and do try to denigrate us because we've been warning people for years. Y'all need to really check these tethers who's coming around talking greasy. Y'all got to do something about those guys. And a lot of times y'all are silent about the Akons when they're talking this greasy nonsense and all of the, the, the Candace Owens who identifies as non-FBA. Y'all set up and let these people talk real greasy and you didn't do anything or say about them. So now we're going to have to do something about it and say something about it. And now it ain't pretty. So sometimes checking people and getting some straightening, it ain't going to be pretty all the time. That's why you have to check your own group like we do. Right. When we have, because we have coons, but we let you know that we got, hey, this person, Jesse Lee Peterson, you're going to see this guy. He's going to say something stupid, but he's a coon, so don't worry about it. We check the coons before they get out here and embarrass all of us. Y'all have a bad thing about not checking the cool class within um, your society and let them get away with all that Akata shit, that's done. We are not letting that happen no more. So as long as we get that understanding, we're all good and we're all cool in the game. You feel me? I feel you, man. It's all good, man. It's, it's all good. It's all good. I appreciate yes. you, man. Thank you so much, brother. Let me get right. started. Peace. So, there you go. Just getting some straightening. Yeah. Ain't nothing straight but some straightening. That's all it is. You know, and they know this. See, that's the thing. Deep down, a lot of y'all, when y'all see the tether class talking greasy and trying to undermine us, they 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 low key like that shit. Y'all better y'all check y'all folks, man. All of that stuff where we're uh, all these different names of beads and akatas and no 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 that that ain't that ain't happening no 